أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم هذا خلق الله فأروني ماذا خلق الذين من دونه بل الظالمون في ضلال وَلَقَدْ آتَيْنَا لُقْمَانَ الْحِكْمَةَ أَنِ اشْكُرْ لِلَّهِ وَمَنْ يَشْكُرْ فَإِنَّمَا يَشْكُرُ لِنَفْسِهِ وَمَا كَفَرَ فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ غَنِيٌّ حَمِيدٌ وَإِذْ قَالَ لُقْمَانُ لِبْنِهِ Constant regular halakas for sisters on Wednesday. So Wednesday free periods come. You know there's gonna be. Um, you can talk to Sister Anum, Sister Rova, Hera, or Sammy about it. Um, obviously, this is only for the sisters. You know, we'll get you guys though. But so Wednesday free periods is gonna be halakas, lectures, um, discussions, even games. I heard taboos. So you know, sounds fun. So come to those. Otherwise, continue supporting your MSAs. Every Monday we'll have meetings. So next week is gonna be one special meeting. On Valentine's Day, it's gonna be in Robeson 255. I'll talk about that as we get there, inshallah. So, without further ado, Alhamdulillah. <coughs> I've received an email, Alfil Ali. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الخلق وسيد المرسلين وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده ولا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله وبريز بدء أديبك وحييكم تحية الإسلام السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته وعليكم السلام وبريز is due to Allah سبحانه وتعالى as he's worthy to be praised we thank him we revere him we seek his help we receive refuge in Allah سبحانه وتعالى from our bad deeds and bad intentions whomsoever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guides there is no one for you to stray 
And for those who are misguided, there is no one to make a straight path and we bear witness and testify that there is no deity worthy of worship except Allah, that Muhammad is his final prophet and messenger, alayhi salatu Inshallah, I have some beautiful reciters on both ends of the aisle. Al-Haj Umar and Al-Haj Amran, ala haf al-Ain. Inshallah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect them both. And bless the one in the middle. Amen. The topic of discussion today is the 10 reasons what pe why people don't come to the MSA. And I will add to the MSA to the masjid as well. And, and uh, alhamdulillah, this group of people doesn't, uh, this 10 reasons doesn't pertain to you. But I wanted to, I, I thought hard, and I usually before coming to Rutgers, I have to do a little research as to how to approach the situation. Um, and I seek the help of not uh, the typical scholars that I would go to, Sheikh Qatanani, uh, Sheikh Muhammad Musa, uh, some heavy books. But this time I seek the help of some teenagers. And I ask them, like, what are the reasons that you don't go to the masjid? Not that you are teenagers, but any, you still remember the teenage years not long ago. And some of the ideas were really escaped me altogether. <coughs> And when I say, uh, by show of hands to yourselves, not to me, how many people in the last two weeks have gone to the masjid? Don't show, don't show me the hands. Show hands to yourselves. You know who has gone. You say, I've gone, I didn't go, blah, 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 and whatever. Um, and how many people in the last semester attended the MSA meetings regularly? Show hands to yourselves, not to me. And some of the answers that you would get of course, we're not going to do it David Letterman style. Number 10, and I'll take the thing and crash the window. Uh, but we'll do it so you are able. Alhamdulillah, yani this is one of the largest turnout in Rutgers and what? Is that in Lafayette? And it, it's really uh, heartwarming to see the brothers and sisters. And this is the first time. There is more brothers and sisters. The very first time. I mean, if it happened in NJIT, I would know it's an old man's school, so it's totally acceptable. But in Rutgers, la. And it's, uh, it's been Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward. Yeah, I know there's plenty of things. This is the beginning of the semester and what happened. Some of the things that people will say, and you could, at least in a da'wah form, and I'll show you how to give that da'wah. Uh, why they don't show up to the MSA. The first thing they would say, well, there are people there that I would not want to see. And I would add another element. How many people uh, have heard this comment before? There are people there I don't want to see. One, two, three, four, five, it's there. Six. People there I don't want to see, and I would like to urge the brothers and sisters to think about the ayah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he says, إِنَّمَا الْمُؤْمِنُونَ إِخْوَةً Verily, the believing men and the believing women are brothers and sisters. Of course, the ayah refers to the, the men, but of course, implicitly it talks about the brothers and sisters being ikhwa. That this ummah of Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam, is one single brotherhood. That the people that we would want to go to the MSA and see or not see would remain our brothers. We have to put aside what is not right, what is different, what is not appropriate, and go and visit with them. Of course, for the brothers who are here today, that this does not apply. I'm just reiterating this, not to sound repetitious, but just to bring some light as to how to give da'wah to the people when you go outside and you see them in the hallways or on some avenues shaking hands with people that they shouldn't be shaking hands. It's one of the sites actually I saw coming in and it saddened my heart. Uh, someone giving a heart to someone they shouldn't be giving a heart to. Very sad. In my heart, I was like, oh. and I'm going to the MSA. But that's fact of life. That's something that we'll talk about also as well in light of what's happened on February 14th, Valentine's Day. 